this evening I've got this little self-contained case back here in the Takeda area behind the, behind the uh, to go it is one of these I have never heard of it uh, made in China oh that's why mm -hmm. and it's not cooling so wonder what's wrong with it that thing is freaking hot I bet you it's lost refrigerant I bet you it's out I bet you it's lost refrigerant from that right there how much you want bet okay so we're looking for anywhere around 125 to 150 on the high side We'll want uh, about uh, 25 or so on the on the suction side. Let's see. Damn. No way, dude. It has lost its refrigerant. I bet the suction is going to be in a vacuum. Ooh, close. Oh, no, no, it is in a vacuum. Good. Let's see. Is that a vacuum? Yep, suction side's in a vacuum. Okay, so, we gotta start this thing up and let it start warming up. And... Probably gonna get some nitrogen and uh, pressurize it with nitrogen. I think it's gonna be in there. That is just what I think. I've seen it too many times, y'all, too many times. Oh yeah. Piece of shit. All right, I got this thing nice and warmed up now, and This company, they make these cheap ass little, little things right there, and they just they break like that. See, this chunky little unit. All right, this thing is like falling apart. Can't get it to do anything. Can't get it to move or nothing. Same with this one over here. Unfortunately, with these things, you gotta take them completely apart. It's truly a pain in the ass. And then when they do this kind of stuff, strap the shelves to the... Damn 
once you got all those out the way, you've got those quarter inches. Seven millimeters instead of quarter inch. I've never even seen a seven millimeter self tackle like that. Ice formation like that, that means that you lower the refrigerant right at the inlet where the cap tube goes into the coil. Leak detector was picking up somewhere around here. It's uh, it's good and warmed up now. It takes my detector a few seconds to respond because it's peace, but it's still a very good leak detector. Alright, so I want to pinpoint my leak and I'm not going to be able to fix it anyways, or I'm not going to be able to charge it back up until it's fixed. So I'm going to pressurize this thing with nitrogen. Hopefully it doesn't explode because it's made in China. I guess I can put... 320 pounds in it. I'll go with like, I'll start with 150 or 200 first and see if, if I can hear anything at that point. Probably not, but we'll see. I need to get me a new, some new gauges. What y'all think? got to use bubbles and there's a lot of them over here on this side look look up here that's one right there so confirm it a couple times even is best Leaking everywhere, guys. Right over here. Let's see, we're leaking right there, right there, right there, right there. A lot of freaking leaks. There, 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 there. Over here on the back side. 
Oh, they got leaks. I think down there on the bottom side. Let's see. We got leaks over here on this back top top corner one. Man, look at how many coming up there. There's like 10 of them just on that back loop. Look at that. Anybody know why this happens? Can anybody tell me? Yes, because it's from China. No, I'm just kidding. But actually, probably um, because it's from China makes it a little worse. But what happens is lemons and fruits and vegetables, jalapenos, things that have citric acid in it, they stay in this compartment here and they soak into this. You get acidic decay. I don't think that's what it's called, but that's what I call it. So the acid in the food eats these corals up. I got some shit. You would think that maybe they would make these a little bit thicker, but I guess not. I guess it keeps them in business, right? It's like, why would Chevy make an engine that would last a million miles? They wouldn't. <laughs> why would they do that? They'd go out of business. That's be stupid. <laughs> Same thing here. Why make thick tubed coils? Why? What's the point? That's stupid. Then nobody's ever gonna need new ones, right? So definitely can't repair this, definitely can't charge it back up. So this unit is down. We gotta order a coil from China and uh, see if we can get one. In the meantime, I gotta put this stupid thing back together. And um, that's it, send an email. I'm good for this video, part one of the Chinese true wannabe uh, prep table. Thanks for watching.